Recently, you may have noticed the name Jody Rawson on the program and said, who is Jody Rawson? Well, Miss, Miss Rawson happens to be the daughter of former trainer and jockey Roy Rawson. She is not a Johnny come lately because she does know her horses, as you're about to see when we talk with Jody. This is Jody Rawson's story. Did you always want to be a trainer? I didn't. <laughs> no? No, I didn't. After my dad passed away, it was just kind of just kind of fell into place. Things kind of changed when he died. I liked exercising horses until I got hurt, but when that, when I couldn't do that anymore, the next best thing was to train, and now I love it. Your dad, Roy, was a popular trainer at Ace Things. We, did you learn much from him? I learned pretty much everything I know from him. Before you got your trainer's license, what were you doing here all these years? I was out riding and grooming a little bit. And by out riding, what do you mean, excuse me? I was catching loose horses uh, in the morning and the afternoon. When was, you're doing that, pony, can you make a living pony horses? Oh yeah, I did. It was fun for a lot of years, but you're only as good as your pony, and my pony got old, so <laughs> I had to move on to something else. Jody, how many horses do you have in the barn right now? Uh, there's uh, 13 in there right now. It's a perfect amount for me. I don't, I don't, I don't think I want too many more than that because I. I can do it fine with myself and another groom and Tavis and then we don't have to hire too many people and then I'm more hands on too. The more horses you get, kind of the less you see during the day. And then if you have too few, it doesn't really work out at the end of the month. So 13 or 14 is perfect. How important is Tavis to you? Tavis is really important. It's nice to have a good solid gout person. That's how you win races. Is having your gallop person know what's underneath them. And he seems to know what's underneath them, so. Joe, do you remember your first winner? I do, uh, Star of Courage. Where'd you get her from? And um, A lady in Langley owns her um, Tannis Lessing. She's now a three-day venting horse. You look like you're having a friend back down there. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> about two and a half months. <laughs> well, how does that affect you in the back stretch? Well, it affects me quite a bit now. It didn't until about a week ago. Um, but now I'm learning to let other people do things in the barn. <laughs> Up until now, I was doing all the leg work and I was tacking and I was grooming as much as I could. Now I tack them and I'll cool some out, but I don't really get underneath them anymore. It's a little more difficult. Were you a hands-on trainer? Very, very much. I have <laughs> control issues. I don't like letting other people do stuff for me. So when it race day, I did everything and right up until they got to the paddock. Um, after, helps. yeah, no, I've, I got lots of help too, but I like to be there and oversee everything. I walk down with as many as I can. It's getting to be a little bit harder of a walk. I swear that hill goes up a degree every day. <laughs> One wants to give a young person a shot, especially a woman. How did you come up with your bonus? I got lucky. Um, Rob Gilker helped me out and he sent um, two owners over to me and that's how I, I got my horses for my first and second year because I had those owners for both years. And then this year I had a, very, I had a pretty good year last year so I ended up getting all new owners from that. How did you get involved with, with this bond right here with Jody Rawson? Well, I go back a long way with their family. I've known uh, Jody's father, Roy, was a trainer and a jockey here, and uh, my son worked for him and uh, in the barn. Uh, so uh, uh, Jody's brother was a friend of our family's, and so it's, there was a family connection. You mentioned one other thing, she being young, it really helps. I think she brings a real insight to uh, a newer insight. It's something you, it takes a long term, like most things, it takes um, uh, most exercises. You need a, lots of experience to excel at it, and uh, sometimes that uh, experience is learned at the knee of your parents. Was it hard to get any recognition from the other trainers that, yeah, I'm a trainer now? No, I've been around here for a long time and a lot of people gave me chances right away, even when I first started galloping. Um, lots of the trainers put me on horses just because I've been here forever and they know who I am. So it was kind of the same way with training. My first year, I asked a lot of people for help and they all gave it to me. 
I got really lucky that a lot of people helped me out. When you are running Oz, do you discuss it with Travis before and after what went on? I do. We do a lot of things. Um, we talk about a lot of things before and after races, trying to fix things or change things or keeping them the same. What are you looking for at the gap? When you lead your horse out, what are you looking for? Um, just that they're traveling nice and sound at the, and they're happy. Um, how they're coming back, if they're coming back blowing too hard or too hot or they're tying up and just making sure everything goes smooth.